going on YouTube? Today we're gonna go ahead and throw a traction bar on the Integra. Uh, I got it all laid out right here. Got my bolts and hardware right there. I had to go to the store and get an angle grinder because for somehow moving my uh, tools and stuff from my uncle's house to this house, my angle grinder ended up going up missing. So anyways, I got a new one. And let me explain to you why I'm gonna need that real quick. And most of you Honda guys know, or Integra guys know, that these here, are, they're supposed to be welded nuts on the inside of the frame member from the factory. Well, those broke off and they're just kind of sitting up in here. So, since I'm unable to just put a bolt in there, like, a, like on this side, you see on this side, you can see that the nuts are back there and it's threaded. So this side's good to go, but this side, I'm about to cut just a little window. I'm just gonna notch it out like this, cut a little square out and just bend it back, put my nuts up into the inside, and then put my bolts through and then tighten it like that. Um, so that's the reason why I need the angle grinder. So I'm gonna remove this lower boost pipe. Then we have uh, room to cut that. And then we should be good to go. Um, so the traction bar will just anchor to these two points and then you'll have braces that'll run back and then tie into the lower control arm. So. I'm going to go ahead and hook up my angle grinder, take this lower boost pipe off, and get to work. And uh, like I said, cut that hole out, <clears throat> and that way I have uh, some room. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then once we get the traction bar installed, I'll go ahead and grab my slicks. I did get some wheel spacers, because whenever I put my slicks on, I had some clearance issues between... Um, I guess this upper strut and my tire itself not that it didn't clear because it did but I probably only had maybe about that much room between my tire and here so just for the peace of mind I got some 15 mil spacers just kind of kick the wheel out just a hair give me some more space um, I already have the extended wheel studs ERP wheel studs so I should be good on that um, so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today and we'll get it done Just kind of show you what I did here. Oops. So I cut out just a little little access hole here, and I kind of I pelt that back. And then now I have full access to this here. Actually, look, there's still a nut. That one's still welded, so we're still good on that one actually. But these are the two nuts that were supposedly supposed to be welded on the inside. Prevent me to put a bolt in there. So now I can go ahead and put my uh, bolt through and put my nut on the back side. Go ahead and put my traction bar on. And we should be good. So let's go ahead and get the traction bar real quick. I'm gonna just kind of throw it up there. Alright, guys, so got the traction bar all bolted up. As you can see, got my nuts. <laughs> got my nuts up there. Nuts and bolts in there. Got those all secured down. I got those ones tightened, and I mean, this thing is, this thing is solid. I've been doing pull-ups on it, but, uh, yeah, so that's solid. I can go ahead and bend that metal back up in there, and then I'll have my brother weld that up closed again. That'll be the end of that. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our heim joints, which are 
these guys here actually let me grab one so I don't know if it's directional like front to rear or not Hardware. Get back underneath the car. Ugh. So basically, this heim joint is just gonna go like this, and it's gonna go back here, and then that bracket, the middle bracket that I got over there, will bolt using that bolt, and that bolt will just bolt between those two. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'm going to go ahead and bolt the heim joint in there. I'm going to have to extend it just a hair, but I'm going to bolt that bracket up, bolt that heim joint in there. And then uh, I'll show you how to set them real quick once I do that. Alright guys, so got the traction bar on, got the heim joints in. And uh, so it's all loose as of right now. So once you get that in there and you get that in there. I also got the bracket bolted on the control arm see here sorry it just uses that bolt there and a bolt there and you just kind of bolt it in place simple as that uh, so once you got it all kind of on there loosely you just want to go ahead and you want to go ahead and extend the heim joint and right until you start to feel it uh, get tension uh, because that means it's starting to press on the back of the control arm there so you want to go ahead and let me see here yep so you just want to go ahead and extend it just a hair and then once you feel it get a little bit of tension on there, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it one more twist just to make sure it's, yeah, see now it's, now it's solid. So now I'm gonna go ahead, move this nut, tighten that down, I'll tighten that down, tighten these bolts up, and that'll be it for this side. Then I'll go ahead and I will move on to the other side. We'll take the bracket, we'll bust, uh, We'll bust this nut off, we'll bust that bolt off, go ahead and put the heim joint in there, extend it, tighten it down, and then that'll be uh, it for the install. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so I got the traction bar all installed, and let's take a look here. Got my boost pipe back on, traction bar is all on. Boop. So, then I got the traction bars on. I got these sweet wheel spacers. Grab one real quick. So when I put these slicks on before, like I said in the, earlier in the video, they came really close to my shock. Um, but I put this one on here, and as you can tell, I can now fit my hand. I got a good half inch back there. It just feels so much better, you know, just for peace of mind. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, pretty sweet. These are just eBay. These cost me 35 bucks. They are hub-centric. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take this one off, put the other slick on, and, uh, just maybe we might go around the block and, uh, and try these slicks out. So, see what, uh, traction feels like with 500 horsepower. So, <laughs> either way, I'm really excited. They do poke a lot, though. I mean, look at that. <laughs> race car <laughs> for sure but uh anyways let me get this other side on and uh yeah maybe we'll go around the block
think we got it this time. Yep. So, to first spin with the slicks, it is a whole different animal. Holy shit. Traction's still a little scarce. I mean, obviously it's on the street and I didn't heat them up, but... It's pretty fun. Definitely a blast. <clears throat> For some reason, after that last pull, I lost power. I don't know why. So I pulled over, killed the car, and then... Turn the key back on and it cranked right up. I don't know what the issue is with that, so I'll probably just double check my battery connections. Could be loose or something. But, anyways, guys, uh, glad I could take you along with me on those pulls. Those are the first pulls I've ever done on this car with slicks, so that was really fun. And, uh, yeah. So, if you guys like what you saw, go ahead and smash that like button. If you want to keep following me for more content, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comment section below. 
And uh, yeah, really appreciate y'all watching. I'll see y'all later.